Well, Bemidji is now in good company. It's one of three bird cities in the state. Haiti Clotter explains. Hastings and St. Paul, Minnesota have something in common. They're the first two Minnesota bird cities, and now Bemidji is on the list. There are a few requirements to receive the title of a bird city. Improving habitat for birds. Uh, another has to do with uh, supporting conservation action in town across a whole range of environmental issues. And a third has to do with reducing threats to birds. Presented by the Audubon Minnesota Society, a bird city designation recognizes a community with bird friendly initiatives. Bemidji State University campus has several pollinator gardens and uh, lakeshore restorations that have utilized native plants. There are ways to help improve the livelihood of birds and help protect them. You can start by using pesticides that don't harm insects, which in turn harm the birds who eat them. A ceremony was held at Cameron Park and Bemidji Mayor Rita Albrecht was present to accept a certificate and says the designation can help promote birding. Hopefully it will be a way to attract tourists here and uh, people in our community will really appreciate that we have paid attention to our habitat and to the birds. Although the loon is the state bird, Purple Martins also call Bemidji home. They're summering in the north to take advantage of the abundant insects, uh, and Lake Bemidji certainly provides abundant insects. Purple Martins use these nest boxes, and Bemidji State University conducts research. Including the new houses I found last week, we probably have 120 breeding pairs in Bemidji. The celebration also coincided with International Migratory Bird Day in Bemidji, Haiti Quarter, Lakeland News. The city is working on signage that'll greet anyone who drives into town so they know Bemidji is a bird city. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.